Greetings, wayshores of the new world. Today, we had more waves of cosmic solar energy coming into the field. Many of us felt it through the crown today, through the crown chakra and the third eye, and then the heart, the, and the higher heart today. We had a calm in the Schumann resonance over the last 35 hours from this morning at 11.30 UTC, so from 15 UTC on the 25th of January until 1 UTC today. The Schumann was very quiet and calm. Then the first opening movement reaching about a power 15, and then immediately we start seeing the beginning of significant activity. And then after a few hours at 5 UTC, a series of peaks began around the power of 25 hertz, lasting until 7 UTC, which shortly after at 8 UTC, a powerful movement brought in the amplitude to the power of 63, 63 hertz. And then through the remaining day, there was light noise in the background and stick in around 15 hertz. We also had over... 128 earthquakes in the past 24 hours, the largest 6.3 around Solomon Islands. We had a 4.3 in Nicaragua, 3.4 in Puerto Rico, Alaska 3.0, and Turkey again today, 4.4. The Aleutian Islands, 5.2, and the northern rim of the Ring of Fire, 3.2 Puerto Rico, 3.7 Puerto Rico. 5.2 in Iran, and then also a 5.2 within the Arctic Circle in a string of islands, part of the Russian Federation called Severnaya Zemlya, which is not too far from the North Pole. It's getting closer up there in the Northern Hemisphere in the Arctic Ocean. So all over this realm, the Earth is releasing, shaking off the old getting into the higher resonance, and we're feeling these throughout our body, our physical body, which is connected. It is one with Gaia, one with Source. As these Source energy waves manifest into this resonating field of energy, we're feeling in many different ways. Most people's nervous systems becoming more sensitive, sensitive to the light, to the sound, to the frequencies, to the resonance. We're feeling this in many different ways. Many people are calling ascension symptoms. Everything from ringing in the ears to vertigo, spinning, feeling of falling. I hear more and more from a lot of people, either memories being lost, changed, you know, the Mandela effect energies, many, many different things. These are all signs and synchronicities of this great shift as we're entering these new realms called, we're calling New Earth, New Eden, the New Age, the Golden Age. We're right on the precipice of this great quantum leap of consciousness that many of the ancient masters saw in these prophecies, these prophetic visions for the end of the old false matrix, the end of the simulation of 3D false manifestation, which we are calling... The shift, the great awakening to 5D, which is symbolic of the eyes of the spirit opening, the awakening of consciousness, reconnecting with source, remembering our oneness with all things. This is unity consciousness, the ninth level, and the evolution of consciousness through the sacred pyramids of the Mayan empire, the Mayan culture, through these cycles within cycles, the dreams within the dream. Today's first transmission from Laura Pleiadian, Awakening Within the New Worlds. When you wake up, you will be aware of living through your heart space. This is the true awareness that exists in union with the eternal. No time, no space. All now in the internal flow of being, which is the eternal God Self. This is the timeless love and beauty beyond any dreams ever dreamt. It is the sacred holy of holies, bar none. In this the union with the beloved is manifest as the eternal being of love throughout this universe. 
sacred breathing, sacred breath, sacred life, sacred death. Born again, as sure as the dream unfolds in worlds unknown as of now, we enter these new worlds all in the moment. The heart only knows the way. Liberation of the mind lives through this awakening that exists running circles within the endless trying of changing time, bringing back the past, living for a future, all obsolete tendencies in a world fraught with its own created dementia of the eternal. The very desired awakening to the truth of being through the heart takes backstage to the instant gratification of money, of security, of greed, of wanting. The forerunner is the surrender to knowing nothing, being nothing, entering emptiness, existing and allowing all that is eternal to only be what is through the heart. Entering now, the beloved union is the true glory that awaits its presence, known as this, the Holy of Holies, here on earth now. In this, we activate you now in love. From the new DivineHumanity.com, Laura Pleiadian. So there we have that the energy of the dementia or forgetfulness or what we call the program of amnesia coming into the illusory world, the simulation, the holographic universe. As we fall asleep to enter into this dream time, the simulation, for a time, for a moment, Brahma falls asleep, all for the joy of waking up, for awakening. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, we are breaking free of the simulation of time loops, of looping time, of the wheel of birth and death, of what some see as the prison planet, prison of time, the sine wave, living in sin, living in separation. The sin that the ancients spoke of was the sine wave, the rise and fall of energy, of sound, of light, the wave. We are freeing ourselves as a collective from the simulation. From Judith Cusell, allow it of the old negative karmic patterns your soul has recreated with other souls, and even groups of souls, or the collective, is now coming to the fore, so that we can finally dissolve the wound through deep forgiveness and set ourselves and others free. At this time the shackles and bond which have held us prisoner for so long in the 3D are coming off, and with it the karmic wheel of life is spinning faster and spinning out what no longer serves our highest soul growth and good and those of the other souls concerned. We have this immense opportunity now to be freed of karmic return and to co-create something amazing, beautiful, and whole in unison with others. We cannot move into the higher dimensional state if we are still being weighed down by so much unforgiveness, so much pain, and I am not only referring to the individual souls, but referring to the collective as well. Remember, there is ancestral karma, even country and peoples and tribes have karma, as well as the whole of humankind. We can never separate ourselves from the whole. The whole of humankind is us, and we are the whole of humankind, or humanity. Therefore, we represent every human trait there is within the collective and within ourselves. So often we point the fingers at others, not realizing that nine other fingers are pointing back to ourselves. So many recent, the soul lessons coming up, now, as they do not wish to work through them, remember that when you finally have the guts to open the wound and let it out and forgive and let go, you are not only freeing yourself, you are stepping into a much higher version of yourself where you can truly set yourself free to an even greater extent in all of humanity. Indeed, you are setting your soul free, and in this has cosmic implication for your soul so that you will not need to return to this planet if you choose not to. The more I work with the infinite energy records held at the divine source, the more I stand in awe and wonder that infinite order of creation, the law of cause and effect, is there in all aspects of life, and even scientists know and apply this law. What you reap, you sow, whether in this lifetime or another, and, or in all parallel lives and universes. I love this law for it teaches me responsibility 
to take responsibility at soul level for every single choice I make, for the way I live my life, and for the way I can daily choose what and how I could love to manifest in my life, and then taking full responsibility for what I have created, what I have sown in seeds through my thoughts, my actions, my very way of living my life. From judithcousel.com And there we have the concept of taking full responsibility for our life, for our manifestation, for what we project into the collective field of energy. Everything we experience in this realm is a collective expansion, a collective extension. Everything expands out from the center within ourselves, from the kingdom of heaven within, into the kingdom of earth. So we have our individual experience and expression, and then we have the collective that we are all contributing to. So look around, see what you see, know what you are contributing with your thoughts, with your actions, with your deeds, and see the connection to all things. Feel that connection in your heart center, in your higher heart, in your thymus, in the pituitary and pineal glands that pulsate in the crystal palace at the center of the brain that connects directly to the sacred flame in the heart center and to the sacred earth below through the rainbow bridge of the seven chakras connecting heaven to earth and earth to heaven, internal with the external, external with the internal. The separation programming is being transformed into the unity program, the program of all things being connected through the heart center. And posted from Ascension Energies from Kate Spreckley, the incoming cosmic energy promises to be extremely powerful at this time and will initiate many transformations for us all. We can expect the intensity to increase as the energy moves to flood through us, washing away the past and bringing an end to much of the uncertainty of recent times. Feelings of tension, pressure, exhaustion, and backache are common symptoms, but thankfully with an underlying excitement brewing beneath the surface, revealing new possibilities and opportunities. You are being asked to empower yourself by reconnecting to your, the wisdom and truth of your soul. You are being pushed to see that your continued journey upon this planet is dependent on the guidance of your soul. With this guidance, you are able to act with conviction and to move forward in creating your new reality. At this time, you are reminded to embrace the changes, go with the flow, and stay fluid. Much love, Kate Spreckley. And there we have the symbolism of reconnecting with source with your soul and being co-creators of manifesting new earth through our awareness through our actions through our feelings our emotions and thoughts and from grandma chandra hello soul family the this new moon is a clear universal geometric progression it provides an opening for you to go very far and very fast with the least amount of energy. The opening will happen through the central sun is, and is connected to the solar system going through the Milky Way and the universe. The energies you will be exposed to will support your efforts and initiate any other work that is tuned to this new moon's activities in your body, in the body of the waters, Mother Gaia, and the solar system as a whole. Your connection and relationships to each other, all the parts of your body and Mother Gaia will become clear, as well as the relationship between the whole of humanity and Mother Gaia, planet Earth, the great central sun, the solar system, and the central sun. This new moon will reboot all the planetary systems, all the solar systems, and the Akashic records that reflect this. The new the moon glow that many people are starting to see in a different way is the evidence of the recognition of the new energies that are revealing themselves on atomic and nuclear levels. We will be able to start working with the new energetic fields very soon. I love and appreciate all of you. Grandma from GrandmaChandra.com And from Elizabeth Peru, this is from yesterday the 26th. Breaking Cosmic Message Dear com Cosmic Community, for the past 48 hours, something special has been underway. 
So many in our community of light globally are undergoing huge brainwave shifts. So you may have noticed that you have had headaches, migraines, stiff neck, sore eyes, etc. It's a group ascension shift and the Schumann resonance has been consistently high since Saturday. Very active actually. Earth is moving up to... You've heard me speak about this new way ahead in my lives. We move as a group now, not as individuals, particularly when there are cosmic upgrades taking place. These group ascension shifts are showing us that we're, we're moving towards unity and the presence of oneness. You may feel alone, but we're actually more together than we've been in decades. Please share this message. ElizabethPeru.com and today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 199, Blue Self Existing Storm 7337 coming in with the 99, the 911, 9 times 11, 99, 9 caves times 11 levels is 99, synchronicities. Today's Blue Self Existing Storm, self existing is the name for the number four, and its keywords are define, form, and measure. We are on the fourth day of the Yellow Warrior Wave Spell, and to proceed, we must take a closer look at the details of our mission. Today is Blue Storm, which represents cataclysm, self generation, and energy. When the stormy change. The stormy game changer falls on the fourth day. We must scrutinize in order to change our situation. Don't make any big decisions today unless you have all the facts at hand. Read the small print, take stock, and be very clear where you stand. The guide today is the Blue Eagle, which sees things from a higher perspective. This guide is very handy for today's mission. We can take a look at the details and see the bigger picture. Eagle helps us see everything from all angles. From Christina Papagiorgio, Blue Self-Existing Storm, Kin 199, 27 January 2020, 27 1 2020, 9 1 22, equal 14, equal 5, 27 Power Leadership Command, 9 Destiny Compassion Humanity Endings, 5. Change, Transformation, Freedom. Kin 199, equal 19, equal 10, equal 1. New Beginnings, Leadership, Manifestation. Tone 4, Self-Existing. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. Building, a Divine Foundation for Transformation. Day 4 in the Yellow Warrior Wave Spell of Fearless Questioning Everything in Their Path with a Profound Intelligence, Disabling the Old Paradigm and Fully Focused on Forging a New Path to a Brave New World. Today we are defining change, using our minds to intelligently question everything, so that we may, we may define what it is to go beyond fear to the core of our planetary missions. Tone of creation, self-existing, tone four, operates in the mental realm. Action measures, power defines, essence form, self-existing, number four, takes form, and we have ourselves a square shape. Self-existing, measuring and defining, very intelligent, fascinated by self. We now have built a sturdy platform upon which further growth takes place. Today we are using our minds to define our quest and measure the energy needed to catalyze this transformation, defining how we can transform our lives through building a solid, divine structure for our mission. Dispense with the rest and build your new, solid foundations on the basis of divine alchemy and magical manifestations. Through your clarity and future vision, Go forth and build this new, more expansive foundation. So planetary kin, trust in the power of great spirit today and the winds of change to catalyze the tremendous changes your soul seeks as you fearlessly awaken to the greater vision for your life and our new world. Today's question is how can I harness the power of the storm to catalyze great transformation and manifest my highest vision for my life? Divine blessings for defining and forming a wonderful new foundation for your mission. 
Namaste and Lakek Alakin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, Kin 199, Blue, Self Existing Storm, The Mantra, The Code for Today is I Define in Order to Catalyze. Measuring energy, I seal the matrix of self generation with a self existing tone of form. I am guided by the power of vision. And be very clear, very specific on what your vision is, what you want to see, what you want to experience, what you want to feel in this new earth and heaven on earth without any limitations. If there was no limitation at all, what would you experience? And leave us what you see in the comments below this video. Let us know what you're seeing, what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your visions for the new earth, what you're seeing for the new world manifest right now, here, in eternity, with the infinite life, the infinite light, and the infinite potential that is within each and every one of you. That is the kingdom of heaven that is within, the zero point energy of infinite power, the power of stillness, the power of silence. And through our meditative pose, our posture, as we breathe deeply into our sacred vessel, filling every atom, every cell, every strand of DNA with the heavenly chi, the sacred heavenly energy, merging with the earthly energy, the earthly chi, through our sacred vessel, we feel the power that is beyond all things beyond all concepts, beyond all thought, beyond all feeling. 737, coming through the 37 into the 73, the 73 into the 37, that is a 1010 portal, 1010, yang into yin, yin into yang, heaven into earth, earth into heaven, physical into the non-physical, non-physical into the physical. And that is the process, that is the divine alchemy, Converting lead to gold, converting physical matter back to light and beyond the light into the sound and beyond the sound into the silence, into the stillness as we reconnect with the infinite unborn mind of Buddha, of the Tao, of the Christ consciousness, the God consciousness. We are merging all timelines. We are connecting with every aspect of ourself merging with our true self, our true nature, which is source energy. And in this unborn mind of the unknowable great mystery is where we resonate from and where all things are perfectly resolved. So feel into that, that resolution, the resolving of all conflict, all duality, all suffering, and feel the bliss and the joy fully conscious here now in this body, in this mind, in this spirit, the Holy Spirit with us now. Feel that infinite power and the infinite te potential of your true self, which is one with the eternal self. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the little bell the little gong there next to subscribe to get notified from the heavenly realms and our future <laughs> activations. <laughs> and you'll see one last thing, a couple more things before I bid you all adieu. Uh, several people ask about if I will post links to these transmissions. Every transmission I do in the description below the video, you'll see a link under the title to primedisclosure.com and within that link will be an article or a post on our website primedisclosure.com that will have all the transmissions and a link to the original transmission or article or wherever these were received from so that you can connect with that source, with that energy. So that you can always click that link below this video and also you'll see under the videos we have teamed up myself and my team te has connected with teespring the company and i have over many years the last 25 or more years 
have done nature and wildlife photography. So we'll, we're going to start selling posters and prints and t-shirts of my photography. And all proceeds will go towards building the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, which many of you have connected with myself and our team. You can learn more about this on primedisclosure.com. Click Dow de Ecuador at the top of the page. We're also using the CBD business. I put that on hold for a little while. We'll start getting back into connecting and building the team. Uh, you can learn more about that at cbdpeaceoil.com. So thank you for joining us today. Keep walking your path with heart and living from your heart, beloved being of light. I do love you. Aho.